Aloha, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here today for our family Wednesday. And today we wanted to do a really fun scavenger hunt where we get to include the kids and the family in a little online activity. And so I just want to thank my other council members here today. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Naeva Flory. I've been a part of the Million Mom movement for about five years now. And we also have Jody here on the line who has also been a part of the Million Mom movement for many years. And she's got her daughter Leora on her lap. And we also have Carmela here, who's an amazing mama and inspiration in our Purium community and our Million Mom movement. And we also have Rachel, who is our coordinator and helps all the wheels turn for us. So thank you all for joining us today. And thanks to the rest of the council for helping organize this, especially Rachel, um, for putting together our scavenger hunt. So um, I'm just gonna grab my list of scavenger hunt items. And Jody, was there anything else that we wanted to share prior to the scavenger hunt? Or are we just gonna hop right into that? Oh, I think we start there because we have all the kids ready and raring to go. So let's get them involved. And then if the mamas want to talk afterwards, the kids can go take off and we can keep talking. Awesome. Super fun. So who's ready for a scavenger hunt? So we're going to have um, the hey. mom. Your job is to drop a one in the comment once your child has found the item so that we can keep track of what your family members find and keep track of our points. So if you'll please do that for us, that'd be wonderful. So the first item I want you to go find is a Purium Terra pack. Do you have either a Power Shake or any of the Purium products that comes in a Terra pack? that can, there's a few of them that come in our biodegradable packaging. So that's really exciting. For those of you who don't know, um, our company is going plastic free in the next year. So our plan is to be able to eliminate our plastic packaging and reduce our um, plastic pollution on the planet. And 2021 is our goal to completely eliminate our plastic packaging. So that's really exciting and we appreciate all the help. I see Leora has one. Awesome, I see lots of Terra Packs come up. If, if you guys will, as soon as your child finds a Terra Pack, drop a one in the comments so that we can see who finds one first, right? It's gonna be a little bit challenging to keep track if we don't do it like that. So that's the most fair way to do it is when you find the Terra Pouch is to drop a one in the comments and then we'll see how many of each item that each of you find. So the next one that we wanna find is a, do you guys have a banana in your house? Let's see who has a banana. Awesome. This is going to be super fun. I see kids running everywhere. My daughter's running up and down the stairs. She's going to get great exercise. <laughs> awesome. That's the goal. I see a basket of bananas on somebody's screen here. Thank you. Oh, that was Melissa Foster. Awesome. Are we ready for the third item? I'm just gonna see if we're um, getting, oh cool, we're getting lots of numbers in the comments. Just making sure. Yay, okay, item number three, you guys ready? Let's see a piece of art that you have made recently. Who has a fun art project they wanna share? You can hold it up to the screen if it's something that you can bring over to the screen. I see kids running upstairs, this is awesome. We should do this more often, huh? Lots of exercise and fun for everyone. So as, I, as we're just waiting for them to come back with their artwork, you can look across the um, different screens and see the different artwork that the, diff the kids are showing us. And if you'll turn on your camera, if you don't have it on so we can see your artwork. And then once you got it, drop a one in the comments so we know. Oh my gosh, awesome, beautiful art, you guys. How cool, painted rocks. Fun, super fun. Okay, ready for number four? Okay, go find your favorite toy. Show us your favorite toy. And maybe you can comment um, in the comments, you can tell us what the favorite toy is since we all have different 
things that are our favorites, maybe we'll be able to share something with somebody else. It's like, wow, I didn't even, that's my favorite too. We all have things in common, right? Oh, fun, Jiminy Cricket. I see some action figures, Legos. That is a cool spaceship Lego spaceship there. Awesome, fun guys. Okay, are we ready for number five? Is that silly, buddy? I don't know so, about that. <laughs> awesome. So our fifth item, let's see, is going to be an apple. Who has an apple in your house? Let's hope that you're having an apple a day and a power shake a day to keep the doctor away. It was super fun. Um, so yeah, we're doing this as part of the Million Mom movement. I see some apples on my screen. Awesome. Drop a one in the comments when you find your apple. Um, because we want to create more connection. We realize that during this COVID-19 crisis that many of us are in lockdown with our kids. We're learning the ropes of homeschooling. Some of us are already pretty, pretty well versed in it. Others are learning, you know, how to juggle all these different hats as moms and teachers and entrepreneurs. And so every Wednesday we've been gathering and just creating this little supportive group where we get together and incorporate the kids and have fun and talk story and help support you wherever you're at. Um, and just connecting with other moms and people in our community. So I just wanna appreciate all of you for taking the time and coming on and bringing your kids on. Thanks kids for participating, we have a few more. So thanks for going and finding that stuff. The next one, is who has a biomedic or epigenius kids in their house? Go find it for me, please. And for those of you who don't know, Biomedic is one of our amazing products that is actually has the seal of approval from the Detox Project and is proven to remove glyphosate from your gut in six weeks. But what is even more amazing is that we included it into our kids' chocolate epigenius shake that helps to remove the toxins from your children's body while they're having a delici delicious chocolate shake. Look at all that biomedic. Awesome, people, I love this. Super fun. Should I keep going, Jody, or you wanna take on the other half of the list? I think you're doing great. Oh. Awesome, <laughs> for fun, because then Leora and your kids get to participate too. Awesome, let's go on to the next one. Everybody ready? Who has a flower or plant it can either be out in your garden or in your home. If you can show it to us, that's awesome. If not, you can find it and then drop us a one so that we know that you found your item. We love to surround ourselves with beautiful flowers and plants. And right now it's springtime, you guys. So it's a super fun time to get out there and plant little gardens with the kids. Kids love to watch things grow, right? It's like a fun science project to plant some sunflower seeds and watch those flowers grow big and then harvest those sunflower seeds and let them eat them. So things like that are super fun for kids, growing your own salads and things that grow really fast. Um, so I encourage you all to do some of those fun projects with your kids and plant, plant some fun plants. Yay, aloe vera plant, Holly. I love it. Sweet. Okay, the next one is find a family photo. Who's got a family photo close? Can we see it? You guys, how awesome is this? Look at across the screens at everybody's beautiful families that they are showing us. You get to see all these family photos. How fun. All right, just a few more. Awesome, look at all those photos. I love it. You got the whole wall covered, Jody. <laughs> awesome, okay, the next one. You guys ready? Find us your favorite healthy snack. And maybe if, awesome, Purium Shake Leora, you already had it. Way to go, I got mine too. I got my healthy snack here. The easiest on the go nutrition, right? For us and our kids, so way to go. Awesome, and if you wanna tell us what your healthy snack is, that's fun too sometimes. We, we find the commonalities and things that we like, that we all like together. Um, the next thing that we're going to find is show me your favorite book. Who's been reading some fun, interesting books during this time? It's been a really great time to, you know, dive into some books and show the kids to, you know, go outside, go play, read some books if we're inside a bunch. Oh, look at that big book, Leora. Good job. Harry Potter. 
What books are you guys reading? Lucky Bunnies. And if it's a really good book, drop it in the comments so that other moms might be able to check it out. Maybe their kids want to read the book too. What is this? The Last Kids on Earth? Awesome. Look at all these cool books. I can't read them all, but if you scroll across the pages, you can see some cool books the kids are holding up. Awesome. Baby Honus. That's fun. Awesome. We just have a few more left, you guys. This is super exciting. Um, okay. Find me a vegetable from your fridge or garden. What do you guys got? And then when you find it, drop a one or let us know what vegetable you have. Let's see what all we can make with this stone soup. We got a carrot, we got onions. What else do we got? Who's got vegetables? More carrots, yay. That's so fun, you guys. A cucumber. Awesome. Good job, everybody. Everybody find a vegetable. I see some vegetables on the screen. Awesome. So the next thing we're going to go find is find me something you love. What is something you love? And then maybe let us know in the comments what the thing is, since we all love different things. Maybe you can let us know what it, what this is that you're going to either show us or find. Got stuffed animals, pet fish, bunny. Then we just have one more after this. Grand finale. You guys ready for it? Y'all find something you love? Each other. I love that one. Okay, last one, you guys. This one might be a hard one. Who has a DVD? Do you guys still have DVDs? Some of us still have DVDs. So that's the last one. When you find the DVD, drop a one in the comments and um, we're gonna tally up all the score and let you all know who the two winners of the Epigenius Kids is. And, that product is just phenomenal for kids. And um, I guess I'm gonna open it up if any of you have used Epigenius Kids in the past and you wanna, I, I see, are you showing us a book, Leora? Or is that, is that a DVD? It's a DVD, awesome. I see DVDs, I see all kinds of DVDs, awesome. So drop a one in the comments when you find your DVD so that we can tally up the points and see who our two winners are. And meanwhile, while we're waiting to tally up the points, if you guys have used Epigenius Kids um, in the past, let's open it up and share how we like to make it for our kids, how we use it. And um, I look forward to hearing from all you amazing mamas. Thanks for joining us. My favorite is Power Shake, Chocolate, and Epigenius, all the Power Shakes. It's so good. Even the kids one. It's really good. It's perfect. What do I have to do? I mean, like, I don't know. I love to take it with almond milk. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I love Kids Epigenius with cocoa mint spirulina for a chocolate mint shake. It's so yummy. Here. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome. Well, those are all super fun ideas and we love hearing from all you kiddos. Thanks for sharing your recipes and your favorite ways to consume the epigenous kids. I'm actually a host on this, so I have to be present, guys. But um, I hear you, Carmela. You're off the also end. connected. And Jeffrey, I, I feel like you're like right at the brink of breaking her. all kinds of things for yourself and for your bit uh, your business. So I'm glad you could connect with Shannon. As I told you, she's one of my dearest and best friends. So I have no doubt that. Yeah. So it's all good. Everything is well. Hey, Carmela, you're off mute, hon. Well, I know we also have some really fun recipes out there. Would you like to share some of your recipes with us? Jody? do you have any that include the Epigenius Kids? The Epigenius? I haven't tried anything with the Epigenius Kids, except my kids like it mixed with the MVP Kids, uh, a scoop of each. But I haven't gotten creative with that yet, have I? What do you think we could mix with that? It's chocolate raspberry, so we could do Epigenius an MVP kids and maybe some extra cacao to add that little extra chocolate flavor and some frozen raspberries and a banana and you could make a chocolate raspberry shake and maybe a scoop of coconut oil in it to add that good fat and give it the creaminess and add the lauric and propylic acid which are both antifungal and antiviral so you'll get that boost for your immune system and here's something funky i learned um, just recently well I, I didn't learn it but i put it together so all of our cell membranes are made of saturated fat and so if you're not eating saturated fat, your cell membranes suffer. And so if you are a vegan like I am, um, making sure you get that coconut oil and you know all the different types of fat from your avocados and your seeds and your olives and your nuts and all of that is really, really, really super important as a vegan because otherwise, um, like your brain runs on cholesterol and your cell membranes are made out of cholesterol. So you have to have those good fats. So there you go, there's my there's my recipe made up on the spot and your bit of, of random knowledge out of my head today. Eat to beat disease. Charlotte, bring it on. Talk about it. We can't hear you. I'm not sure if you're, it says you're unmuted, but I, I don't know if you're connected to Can anybody hear? I can't hear. Oh, she's connecting to audio. So as soon as you're up, you go for it. In the meantime, Hallie, I'm calling on you. Tell me your favorite combinations for your kids. No pressure. <laughs> but my kids are being loud in the background. It's okay, we all have kids. You know, I know they were. Um, so we make a really easy um, shake every morning. It's rice bran, epigenius, and commute, commute. Um, and they love it that way. So we just make it really easy. The rice bran helps it, so it's a little bit more creamy, like you were talking about, Jody. I haven't done coconut oil though, but that sounds awesome. Yep, and um, yeah, so that's their easy shake. Of course, sometimes we'll add power shake, but this one's picky, so. We have to keep it the same. Everyone drink it. <laughs> huh. But you also like to make what? Honey cookies with oatmeal and honey and either love or epigenius or power shake. And you just kind of mix it up into little balls. Look, I like burritos yeah. to get. Okay, you know. <laughs> and so that's what we make. I like burritos too. <laughs> Did they just talk? Yes, they're talking to I you. like cookies. Oh, me too. <laughs> yeah, burritos are our favorite things in the world. Me too. <laughs> Thanks, I mean, Melissa. I, like I have so many favorite foods. You guys are funny. Anything else you want to share? Ina, oh. what's in shape? Do you remember? You're drinking love and lots of chocolate food. chip cookies and smoothies. Yeah, smoothies With are probably shapes. your favorites. Mm hmm. So those are our little tips for today, huh? Yep. 
All right, so I have a question for everybody. How does everybody make their guacamole? Because that's one of my favorites. And we use fresh garlic and, and sea salt and paprika and cumin and fresh cilantro and sometimes fresh onions, sometimes not, and mash all together, right? How do you so make your guacamole? Though. I can't be the only one who has a recipe. Jump in, guys. Melissa, I saw you reach for your mute. Come on. <laughs> All right, now I'm hungry. I like my um, guacamole kind of plain. I, I like it with avocado and fresh lemon juice and sea salt and, um, and that's it. Every once in a while, I'll add a little bit of cayenne pepper into that if I want to kick. But I, I love it with lemon. I, I can't have too much lemon on anything. I see guac, garlic, red onions, cherry tomatoes, garlic, Himalayan salt, garlic, and garlic. Uh, cilantro, because cilantro, lime. Um, yeah, now I'm hungry too, right? I had an idea for the epigenius too. I haven't tried this yet, but I have made my own chocolates using um, using um, um, coconut oil and um, what are those little discs? The little cacao um, cacao disc, and then um, and then I just melt that over. A, I just do it lightly over the stove, and then. I, I just got a really simple little silicone, um, mine has little hearts, a little silicone mold. So I'm pretty sure that that would work really great with the epigenius kids. And then it would be, and you can flavor it with cinnamon or mint or sea salt or however you want to flavor it. I bet that would be really yummy. You can do it with um, MVP kids too, mm -hmm. or with MVP kids and cocoa mint spirulina. And that extra cacao make chocolate mint. I, I like. I like the MVP kids with a little bit of cocoa. With a little bit of cocoa. We like chocolate. All right, who else has got some cool recipes to share that your kids eat? Uh, I like smoothies. You like smoothies. I like frozen blueberries and MVP sport vanilla with sometimes barley grass juice. And hemp seeds. Mm -hmm. Not anymore? No. She did like hemp seeds. Apparently today she doesn't. <laughs> no. no. I haven't liked them ever since I got Anyone else? Carmela, what's that? What did you just post? <laughs> Um, okay, so, sorry, I was actually on a, my team is running the end of this month. I'm getting calls everywhere while I was doing the scavenger hunt, but I'm one of the council members, um, Carmela Velarde, and um, while you guys were talking about the epigenius ways you took it, my downline, who's actually about to hit diamond today, um, very exciting, she created this YouTube video for the epigenius shake while she was pregnant. So it's nice, it's a nice um, thing to share with mamas and other family members who have children because it breaks down a nice visual form um, and about what epigenetics even is and what's the importance of changing the, um, our DNA for the better through food as medicine. So it breaks down the 13 servings, the seven servings of fruit, veggies and protein and what biomedic does. So copy and paste it. Her name is Ashley. <laughs> and I did post up on, actually Rachel helped me to do so, um, my avocado mousse recipe for epigenius, which we love. It's super yummy, super simple. It takes about 10 minutes to make in a blender, putting it all together. But it has that salty and sweet. And um, for those who don't even like chocolate, people tend to like that chocolate because it has that, um, creaminess and the saltiness all in one. So please do try it. It's on the Million Mom Movement recipe section. Laura wants to know who wins. You working hard at that, Rachel? <laughs> She's got your back, kid. <laughs> I don't think we can win. Your mommy's on the council. 
I don't think it's allowed. I think it was just your exercise. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm going to smile, but I'm so disappointed. You know? <laughs> yeah. It was so much fun. I love seeing all the exercise happening. My kids were so looking forward to it as soon as they saw um, that we were doing it because they had a gap in time after they finished their schoolwork and it gave them something fun to do with all of you. I saw it like an hour before we did this. How is everybody doing with homeschooling? Does anybody like need help or have questions? How's it going for all of you at home? I'm going to ask that question and none of you are going to answer me, but I can ask. Anybody have questions, anything we can help with? So the reason I throw that out there is because I'm a veteran homeschooler. I have a sophomore, a sixth grader, and a first grader, and we've always homeschooled. So this is not new for me. So if, if somebody's out there and has a question, I thought I'd offer that up just in case. And thinking about, for the at least for the rest of this school year, to just put them on homeschooling because these Zoom calls with their teachers and all of this busy work is just, it's crazy. And I'm thinking with, cause I'm, do you get funds from the government if you homeschool, right? Depends on the state. Okay, so in California, I believe we do, cause my girlfriend told me she homeschools. And I could use all that money to tutors and music lessons and guitar, you know, anything that they want. Um, we can make a history lesson on, you know, let's look up the year of our address and um, see what happened in that year, do a research project and, you know, all of these funner activities and what I feel like they're just getting busy work. I'm so tempted. It's interesting that you say that because when I first started homeschooling, you know, Josh was almost 16 and he's a July birthday. So we were going to homeschool kindergarten and then put him in all day kindergarten. That was always my plan. And then we decided against it because we didn't like the school that he was going to go to. And in, in Colorado, you have to take either a, a standardized test or have a teacher evaluation in third, fifth, seventh, ninth, et cetera grade. So in third grade, I was so worried. He was doing like two and a half hours of school a day and we're supposed to do four and I was like he's not going to pass this test and oh my gosh and I was so scared and took the test and everything was like 85th 90th percentile and I was like oh he's learning so much more than I realized he was learning and you forget that kids learn how to speak a language from no language and they learn how to sit and walk and feed themselves and tie their shoes and like all those things that they learn and life is like that. I still learn every day. And so now at this point in time with my sophomore, I, I always make all my kids do reading, writing, math because I feel like that's the foundation and I am not creative enough to come up with math lessons for geometry. It's not going to happen. Um, and so I, I do that, but everything else we unschool. And what are you interested in today? Let's go find it. Let's look at the history. Let's look. We went to Washington, D.C. and learned American history in Washington, D.C. Um, and it always shocks me how much they know because our whole life is about learning and my husband and I live like that anyway. And you'll be shocked by what your kids gather and what they can do. This one's at the almost the end of second grade math and she has been in 10 musical theater productions and had the lead twice. And that's not, she's six. And that's with like, she's working with 15 year olds. She's not just working with little kids because that's her thing, but she gets to do that. She gets to go to rehearsal for three hours and she is in choir and she gets to do that. And my boys get to go do parkour, what's it called? American Ninja Warrior, um, which is down the street. That's their gym, you know, and they love it. So what, what are you guys finding? What are you seeing what, that your kids are learning? And, and let's talk about that. You guys are all looking at me again. Charlotte wants to talk, but I can't hear you. Charlotte, is it working yet? It's not working. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I do have our, our winners. Um, Catherine Gleason came up with the most at 16. 16, she dropped 16 ones. So, um, and then Carmela, you tied, but you're a council member, so just tell your kids. <laughs> but they did so I good. <laughs> it was fun. And Erica Joy. 
she also won. Yep, it's all you, girl. <laughs> so those are our two tops. So um, I will be shipping out an Epigenius Kids your way. Awesome, how exciting, congratulations. Super fun. Although I'm not sure who are your best recipes when it gets in, you gotta send us in your best recipes that you make with your new Epigenius. Yeah? And also, Veselik was third place, so I just wanted to give her props as well. I'm not sure of her first name, but is that a last name, Veselik? Yeah, Anne is her first name. Ah, Anne. Okay, so they came in in a close third. They're asking if you need their addresses, Rachel. Um, you, uh, I can find, as long as your name is the same in your, um, in your account with Perium, because I have access to, to all of that, and unless your address is not concurrent with the one on your account. So, but you can, you, I'll, I'll put my email here so you can email me just in case. Perfect. So email her your addresses just in case for the winners. And then um, this is something that we've been doing every Wednesday. So we wanna invite you to come join us every Wednesday, bring your kids. We're gonna be doing fun activities and just sharing via online um, our social distancing and just being able to support each other through the Million Mom Movement. What? Were you gonna say something? I, I am, I'm sorry. So um, because we're not sure when the ban is gonna lift and if families are gonna be going back to normal lives, we're going to switch to every other week. Um, okay. So we will not have one next Wednesday, but it will be the following Wednesday. So it will be on the 13th. So, and I'll, we will definitely shoot out all of that via social and stuff. Perfect. Yeah, and so for those of you who don't know, um, I've been posting information for this event and our Fierce Friday event where we come together and talk about the issue with our food and the glyphosate in our food and what we can do about it. We have a campaign on Fridays where you're, we're actually emailing and mailing General Mills to ask them to remove glyphosate from their cereals and their other products. And so we'd love to invite you to join us there as well. And where you can find the information is on our social media. So if you're following the Million Mom Movement on Facebook, um, and then we also have a Million Mom Movement official group that you can join and we share even more information and support in there. And we also invite you into that group to come and just share what you're doing, you know, share some fun activities that you're doing with your kids or your kids making shakes or making fun recipes, share the fun with us so we can create a really fun, active group. That way when we add new people into our Million Mom Movement group, it's interactive and fun, right? So go in there, ask fun questions, interact with other posts, um, share interesting posts in there, and let's create some really fun activity for everyone and just share important information that we find out there about, you know, the issues with our food or things that we find that are important to us or where we can get organic seeds to plant gardens and things like that. Um, and then I also share all this information on our Instagram as well. So you can also go follow the Instagram Million Mom Movement. And I share lots of information via stories. And so some ways that you can be featured on our pages um, is by you can share a recipe. One of the things that we have is you can share a recipe and receive a free apothecary. And that's an ongoing promotion right now through the Million Mom Movement. So you just have to email that in to the Million Mom Movement. And you can actually um, go to our website, themillionmommovement.info, and there's actually a, a little form there where you can submit your recipe. And we ask that you take a decent picture so that we can upload it to the website. And, um, but I can also highlight you on our social medias. So if you use the hashtag um, Million Mom Movement, then I can find your post. And if you tag the Million Mom Movement, then I can, you know, it just helps me to find your post and for you to actually be tagged to the page. Um, and then I can share it in our stories and things like that from there as well. So I just want to share some of that with all of you because I know there's some new people on the line. Um, and then I just want to open it back up to our council and see what else we want to share with everyone today. Okay, you go. Um so what we really like is like eight ounces of water in the perium shake, um, cherry juice, co um, 
pineapple cocoa hydrate and aloe die gels. Um, and what do you call that? Um, an izzy. So you know those like fruit that like those so they're not they're not soft drinks but they're like fruit juice soft drinks they're called izzies. So they my kids have decided that that combination tastes like a blackberry izzy. Yeah, but I like the other ones better. You like which ones better? Yep, the real ones. The real ones. I <laughs> think she doesn't get them very often. Can I share that in the chat? Yes. Any other combinations you want to share while, I, while you've got the microphone? Um, oh, my new one. Lemon Green Spectrum, Alum Di Aloe Digest, and Cherry Juice. So I'll write those in right now. Give me a sec here. And this is an open forum too. So if you have something you want to hop on and share, whether it's a recipe or a question to the Million Mom Movement or just something you want to bring to the table, we invite you to just come on and share what's happening for you during this quarantine time. I know it's a little bit challenging to be social distancing for such a long period of time. So I'm just really grateful to have this platform to be able to connect with other like-minded moms and people and, um, create a little interaction have some conversations with other moms right some of us are at home with our kiddos all day and so it's nice to talk to other adults sometimes too so bring it on we would love to hear from you my daughter came up with something for me the other day that i thought i'd share that was really interesting i had a bit of a um infection like in my gums like, um, I don't know if it's an abscess or whatever, but I had a sore tooth and she said, put some chlorella on it. So I've been chewing up the chlorella and just leaving it on my gums, almost like it's a paste um, and it's draining and going away. And for the first time in a long time, my neck is finally starting to not hurt all the time because I don't have a swollen gland right there. And I had never thought, and I had tried everything, minerals and coconut oil pulling and silver and on and on. She goes, mom, Put some chlorella on it. She wins. You're a genius. So I thought I'd share that because I can't be the only one that would be like, ah, oh, I would never would have thought of that. But anyone else have anything else I want to jump in with? We don't well, I have a question. I'm sorry. Oh. Because you were talking about silver, and I'm like, okay, you guys are all into that kind of stuff, which I love. So I have some friends, and um, they – he makes his own silver and I, they have liver probably, he had some issues with his liver years ago and stuff. So I really want to bring the Purium lifestyle to them, but they have the Rife machine. They have all these alternative forms, but I mean, it's interesting that the silver didn't work for you, but the, you know, the, the green spectrum or chlorophyll did. So how would you address, I don't know. Can I ask that kind of question? How would you talk to somebody who's into all these alternative health lifestyles and feels that they haven't figured out? And introduce him. It's interesting you say that because I have a PEMF coil and a Rife machine and a and a uh, what should call it sauna. We have an infrared sauna. We have a vibration plate. We have the whole nine yards. I, I've used it all. I love it. <laughs> like, that is my lifestyle. Um, here's what I would say, and this is what I have learned in this whole journey, is that nutrition is the the foundation of the health period end of statement and you can rife machine till you're blue in the face but if your minerals are imbalanced it is not going to work because minerals at their core if you have i have a friend who's an epigeneticist like she's got a phd in epigenetics and she says she has found that nearly every client she has and she treats everybody from the nfl to autistic kids has a has mineral um, imbalance issues. And that's probably what's happening with me is I had uh, HHV6, which is, um, it's the retrovirus that causes chronic fatigue and, and it replicates in your jaw. And so for me, it's getting something in there. And I don't know if it's the oxygenation from the greens or just the, that deep mineral complex, because I've been using the fulvic or the ionic elements. Um, but it's working when it something else is not and you've got to the other thing i would say to them is it depends on what resonates because you know some people say 
I used essential oils and they're amazing. And I, I, I have never bought in the essential oils. If I had athlete's foot, I would use tea tree oil, but it's not my thing. It, it has never resonated, but for a lot of people it does. So you have to find what resonates. Um, but without proper and deep nutrition, I don't care what you do, your body can't find homeostasis. So I, I think of it as foundational health and then everything else uh, is in addition to. So that's how I explain it. Does that help? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It helps. Cause I kind of felt the same way with the PMF. And I mean, I live over, well, now I'm in the States, but I've been living overseas. So communication with the doctor who has a PMF and the Rife machine is non-existent. So we can't communicate, but I'm like, I love, I feel so much better when I go, but I always felt like my body should be strong enough in order to keep doing its thing without me having to come every month for treatment. That takes me two hours to get there. Uh, so coming here and being learning more about Purium and my friend who told me about it, I'm like, the nutrition factor makes so much sense. It's kind of like a house having electricity and now they're on a generator. And so the, the PMF is like, you go, you, you jumpstart your, your car or your house is on a generator, but it's not supposed to run on a generator. So, so I'm going to need some illustration. But it was great to hear from somebody who's done it, all, you know, like you've done, you've had all of it. So it's, it's when they hear somebody who's been exposed to all these alternative styles, they listen a little bit better. You can't make ATP if you don't have phosphate, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how much you generate yourself to help you make ATP. If you don't have phosphate to make ATP with, you still can't make ATP. Mm. What's right? ATP? Adenosine triphosphate. It is the, it's what your mitochondria make that fuels your cell. And that's uh -huh. what's supportive of that is super xanthan. Because it has, it gives you extra phosphate, and that is why it decreases lactic acid buildup in the body when you're exercising, is because it helps your body make ATP faster, so you make less lactic acid. Fun fact. <laughs> Interesting. Do research on that. Naiva, like yes. <laughs> Jump in with some more info, guys. You guys, you guys are as into it as I am. I'm sure you have some more fun stuff to talk about. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you can even bring it down to as it's as simple as sodium and potassium have to be in a, in a two to three, well, so it's potassium three, sodium two ratio. And if they're not in the right ratio, your nerve conduction is not going to work correctly. Uh, calcium and magnesium has to be two to one if it's in homeostasis. If it's not, you're not in homeostasis and you're not gonna function at optimum capacity. So it's just a simple, you know, simple biochemistry. Anybody else have questions, stories? My children are just coming up the stairs. I got distracted. You're, it's okay. The background's on. They won't see you. Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> They're like, I don't want to be on, Mom. Yeah, I had a question. I know you recorded some YouTube videos. Do you have a YouTube channel that they're all found on? Because I, I have a mom that I was uh, wanting to share some of that stuff with. I have a YouTube channel, but there's not very much on it. <laughs> but it's, it's higher living journey. Well, we're, oh, one on there. Oh, well, we have the million mom that ha has all of these recordings from Fierce Fridays and like this meeting today will be on there. Um, if you go into your iLearn Million Mom Movement module, that's where you'll find the links to our YouTube, like playlists. So I'm curious, out of everybody who's here, we have a good group of people and a bunch of you are new. Is everybody here a part of our Purium community? And if you're not, maybe drop a two in the comments so that we can see. Um, and so if you are a part of our Purium community, I'm curious, um, have you guys all went and taken the Million Mom Movement pledge on our website yet? We do have a pledge. Our pledge is to help a thousand families from a hundred communities to each help 10 families to eat greener and cleaner and get GMOs out of their pantry. 
so that's our goal as the million mom movement and so you are part of the one million and we're all here to help support you and encourage you and so one of the first things that you know we have to do as part of the movement is to invite others to come do it with us come be a part of the movement come you know learn about the food that's in our pantry and what we're feeding our children and so i'm curious because it's the end of the month what goals are you guys running for right now because we just have a few more minutes on this call and then we're going to be hopping off and i just want to encourage you that right now we just have a couple days to the end of the month and there is so much that can happen in a couple days i have seen a team member come in and overnight rocket you know to consultant or director i even had somebody almost go to executive overnight one month at the end of the month so anything is possible right now i want to just encourage you because i know we have new people on the line and people have been around for a while that anything is possible you just have to reach out check in with the people you love follow up with all those people you've been you know planting seeds with and invite them into our community and if there's something that inspired you from this call today share it with them share what we're doing with the million mom movement share what the company's doing um you know whatever it is that inspires you and we can really use some more activists as part of our platform too you know more people that are sharing about how we're going plastic free more people that are sharing about our mission to end human suffering and to remove glyphosate from our food and so we want to invite you to you know participate and share your own passion of what it is that you're aligning with and what it is that you're sharing and and what what is it that makes you proud to be a part of this community and and this company and this platform so i just want to share that with you all and if you want to drop in the comments what your goal is then that's awesome if not that's totally fine so i just thought i would create some little fun interactive um interaction for all of us while we're on here a few more minutes and i think we have about five minutes till the end of the call so i also want to give you guys the opportunity to hop on and share with us if you'd like to Catherine's going for director. Awesome, Catherine. Anybody getting really close to your goal? Do you have some team members you're helping reach a goal? Angie, if you want to share, please do. Were you going to hop on? I'm sorry, I thought I saw a message from Carmela asking you to hop on. Go ahead, Jody, if you want to. I was just going to hop on because we had, uh, we have a, a, a dream brand partner that we're trying to create. And I've sent a couple of messages and my husband hopped in today and sent a message from his email account and did it from the man version versus me. And I'm like crossing my fingers and my toes and my everything. Cause it'd be amazing. So while I'm not going to hit, I'm, I'm not going to hit my rank that I wanted to hit. I am hoping that it, I, we've created some momentum for next month. And we, we went after our chicken person today. So cross your fingers and toes for me that, that he says yes. <laughs> I can't see you. I can't always see me. It's because you're awesome. so exciting. <gasps> so exciting. I wish you the, be the best, Jody. And I love that you got your partner involved and partners get involved it gets serious. <laughs> and um, I'm literally less than a thousand points. So I'm six, 584 from re-ranking green. And it's been three years since hitting this rank guys. So it's um, like a resurgence in my own faith in business building. Right. So I took a, a, few, a little bit of time to focus more on parenting and, and that. So this quarantine has been a blessing. This coronavirus has been a blessing um, to be able to share with more people and to connect with people from the heart and to be business forward. So I encourage everybody to do so. It definitely pays off in stride. Can I ask, um, what was it like for like the first month that you joined? Like, was it, did you uh, come up against a lot of difficulties or were there a lot of people that were really wanting to get with the program? I can share uh, quickly. Um, 
so I entered when the first wave hit and um, I recommended doing what my mentor did, which is create a group cleanse while you're purchasing because you want to help people understand the business side and want to get excited about the product. So I asked the godparents of my two children. So there are two couples, my two best girlfriends and my husband and I, we all did a group cleanse, eight of us. I got my money returned, the return on investment from that. Um, I did a healthy happy hour where everyone tasted, everyone agreed to do it as, as one, created a Facebook group to support them and links to just make sure everybody was on the same page with my mentor. And so we were experiencing it organically as, as well as wanting to share it organically. So that's where the business pops off is when you have the excitement bottled and then you just want to connect them the way I connected my friends to my mentor. And that's really the business side. So from there, I always shared this initial business story and some of the brand partners who I've ranked to diamond and above, they're the ones who followed exactly what I did. So you kind of pre-qualify who will follow your story and want to do what you did. And then you're going to start to put more energy to wherever the fire is. Um, if there's a little fire somewhere, pour more in because that's what you want. Go where the fire is burning and pour more fuel there because you might have just that one person who creates a whole network for you. So, um, or it's so organic. I can't even tell you the, the cleanse, the business and the support, love, and care fronttation you're helping others to create for your business. So um, again, it's, it's the million mom movement. It's looking at how just those 10 families that you affect can affect many, many more. But if you put the love and care and attention in a way that is so supportive, creating your own community. So you're a community builder. You're going to be a consultant, a business consultant, as soon as you bring in your first. So be prepared for that. You have to really know your stuff initially. And if you don't, make sure you tell them that you don't and you connect them to your mentor and study with them as they're, as they're going. Gotcha. Thank you. That's a lot of helpful information. My pleasure. Good luck. Good luck, Nick. Appreciate it. Are you in your first month? Uh, yeah. I've okay. been reaching out to a lot of people, um, like especially this past week mm -hmm. um, on Instagram, because I've kind of joined a community of really high vibrational t kinds of people. And uh, a lot of them are, you know, into fruits and vegetables and raw food and spirituality and stuff like that. And, um, you know, a lot are interested in it, but I, I tend to find nobody wants to part with their money. <laughs> um, but that's normal. Um, but yeah, I think the, the idea of getting people to join you on a cleanse, uh, that's a very good idea. You know, investing where where you're gonna get a return on, where people that are actually interested. So thank you. And one of the main products that we have to share is the business. So look at it as a product because it's a product that they'll invest in for themselves, but this is the one that has the most gains, well, health as well, but the gains in finances can also improve your health greatly too, um, yeah. in, in ways for your family. So, um, never be ashamed to share that product. Um, right. when people are not looking to partner, look, we only have a day left before the one, the core four product pack is, is finished. So, um, that's, a, that's the lowest price point I've seen. Yeah. And that's a steal right there. <laughs> Yeah, and the, the financial opportunity is something that I have been kind of using as like a, my initial, you know, incentive. And and I've been approaching people that are like influencers, you know, they've got over like thousands of uh, view uh, followers on Instagram. And I think it's just going to take some time. Um, they, they just don't want to part with it right away. Um, some people are more excited than others, but, you know, I guess I'll see how it goes. <laughs> just got to be patient. Can I just say something to Nick about the, um, with the price range? Because I, sometimes I find that too, that even if you break it down to the, the meal price, the day, it's $11 or it's just, you know, $5.50. Some people still feel, 
that it's still too much. But I had a friend who's an accountant and she's like, what I, the, the, the way I, I tell them is you're reducing your grocery cost and you're, you're paying up front for a whole, for 60 meals for the month. So yeah, it's going to seem like a lot because you're paying it up front, but it's 60 meals that you're going to pay for anyways. And you're paying with your credit card. So you still have the 30 days to pay it off. So you're not even paying for it right up front. So I thought those were a couple of good suggestions for those who still need like that extra and extra visual of yeah. what they're really paying for basically. That's good. Just a thought. <laughs> yeah, I've been, you know, mentioning the the amount per day and you know, you get a whole launch pack for free that's worth the value of two hundred dollars. And um but I hadn't mentioned that, you know, it is up front, so it seems like a lot. I like that idea. Keep in mind, too, that it takes the average person a minimum of seven exposures to something to follow through on it. That's why our phone numbers are seven numbers. Um, and so they say anywhere from seven to 12, but it's a minimum of seven. So you're planting seeds and then you're dripping water on the seeds and then you're putting sunlight on the seeds. And so consistency is going to be your very, very best friend in this. I've had people who saw my very first post four and a half years ago, who took three years to sign up as a brand partner, even though on that very first post, they decided they were eventually going to do it. So don't become discouraged because they don't do it right away. You know, your, your best answer, if it's not a yes, is a not right now. And the next best answer is a no, because then you know you can move on. Mm -hmm. um, but, but don't get discouraged and stay consistent and authentic. And eventually people are going to have enough exposures to it that they will follow through. So, you know, keep that in mind too. I think where people mess up in the biggest ways, they don't stay consistent. And consistency is the name of the game. No matter if you're moving fast or slow, you have to remain consistent. Awesome. Thank you for that. Yeah, I think we're good, Naiva. Go, go ahead, take us home, Naiva. Hey, well, thank you all so much for hopping on here today. That was super fun to do a little scavenger hunt with you all. And you can hear my kawaii roosters in the background. And <laughs> this is not just a morning thing here. It's all day long. And um, I just appreciate you all coming on. Thank you to the council for helping make it happen. And thank you for everyone for your participation. And congratulations to the winners. And Make sure and follow our Million Mom Movement platform so that, that way you get the notifications for the one, um, the meeting that we're going to have two Wednesdays from now, as well as our Fierce Fridays and our other things that we promote through our Million Mom Movement pages. So thank you all so much for participating and we'll see you again soon.